A while ago, I made a video where I used the AI ChatGPT to make a Pokemon team and took it into the online ranked battles of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Specifically, I took it into double battles. But as some people pointed out, and a lot of people agreed with, I think the team is much more suited for the singles format instead. So, I figured, why not try it out? Starting from the beginner tier, using nothing but the ChatGPT team, can I make it into the Master Ball tier? I'll be uploading highlights of the battles in videos like this, so consider subscribing to follow the journey to Master Ball rank. For a quick recap, we have a Technician Scizor with Leftovers, a Specs Dragapult, Intimidate Gyarados with a Life Orb, Moxie Salamence with a Lumberry, a Salt Vest Lucario, and a Scarf Hide Dragon. Ah, uh, let's see, a lot of ghost types here. I say a lot, there's two. Annihilate Dragapult, as well as Umbreon, Noivern, Roaring Moon, and a Lucario. I think I lead Gyarados, but do I dare risk triggering Defiant on the Annihilate? Ooh, I think I lead Hide Dragon. Scarf U-turn could be nice. I have Gyarados in the back. I think I just leave the bottom three again, right? Mm, yeah, I think Dragapult might be nicer here. Let's see, my plan is turn one, U-turn, depending on what it is. U-turn, if it's a Lucario lead, I can U-turn into Dragapult. Avoid a close combat if it's a Annihilate lead. Do I risk? Okay, never mind. It's Roaring Moon. Protosynthesis, right? So maybe this is a Gyarados switch. Lower its attack. Boosting... Attack, yeah. I mean, I could just Draco. Insta Draco Meteor him. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm overthinking this too much. No, I'm, I need to go back to just click super effective move and win. There we go. <laughs> Here I am trying to outsmart him. Like, ooh, I can U-turn into Gyarados and then lower his attack. But instead, just, just get the KO. Just Draco Meteor. And next up is Dragapult. Okay, so Dragon Dots is definitely a possibility here. So I think switching to Gyarados is the play. Intimidate. Probably has clear body though, but I'll try it out anyway. Uh, let's see, it does have clear body. All right, let's see. Draco. Ooh. We survived though. Special attack falls. And it's Life Orb. Okay, that's very good to know. We can Ice Fang here and we... We'll probably get outsped though. That's the only issue. And then has Thunder. Okay. And he landed that thunder, very lucky. Thunder, I okay, it's special attack then. So it's thunder, shadow ball, and uh, Draco, right? It's a life orb, so we can bring in high dragon, probably. We are definitely foster because of Scarf, right? And I think we just have to Draco, right? Ah, I mean, we could dark pulse, but here's the thing. Like, I can risk going Draco here and then switching into Dragapult and sacking that. The only issue is I'm worried I miss Draco here, but surely I don't miss this, right? Okay, there we go. Remember, just click super effective move. Just click the KO move. Do whatever gets you the KO. Simple as that. Also, welcome, uh, Papillamo. After watching Zeppler HQ, MTQ Capture, Arthur, Savix, Matsui Zekai, Asmongold, Pimp Pokemon YouTubes, you finally landed on my stream. Welcome. Quite the, quite the journey you've taken. All right, here's the plan. I already know what's going to happen. He sees Dark type. He's going to click close combat. I am going to switch into Dragapult. Be a ghost type and not be affected by any of that. Simple as that. Here's the re. He's gonna terror as well. Terror, what? Terror fighting for uh, close combat? Terror fighting, yep. Wants to get more damage out of close combat. But little do you know, my friend. There is the close combat. Having, like I said, having this ghost type on the team has saved me so many times. Now we can just break a meteor. I've only, I've only ever clicked Draco Meteor and that has gotten me this one. Three Draco Meteors, three KOs. Simple as that. Oh, what a, what a lovely team. Mimikyu, interesting. There is a flutter. Okay, I'm bringing Lucario. No matter what, I'm bringing Lucario. It's Mimikyu, Brute Bonnet. I haven't seen that in ages. Rotom Wash, Masquerade, Pelipin, Fluttermane. Uh, let's bring Lucario. I want to have High Dragon at some point here. I don't think I get much mileage out of Dragapult. I I'm just hesitant to bring too many dragons, especially with Mimikyu and Fluttermane. I might bring Scizor instead. Or, hang on, let me lead with Scizor and Lucario and High Dragon in the back. Both have Bullet Punch, Lucario and Scizor, but Scizor also has Swords Dance, which if he leads Palafin, I could just Swords Dance turn one and predict that he flip turns. I'm predicting a Mimikyu lead. If he doesn't have... Okay, no, man, it's Palafin lead. I have two options now. I could go for a Swords Dance, or I could U-turn myself. Because what happens if he goes flip turn into Mimikyu? If he does do that, I think I can go into Lucario. Oh no, it's just hard withdrawing, okay. This is perfect for me then, because I get to get a free switch in, essentially, and also predict or free switch in according to what he has. Ah, I should have stayed in and used, um, <laughs> I should have absolutely stayed in. 
and used uh, Swords Dance. Bullet Punch would have gotten a free KO. It was Booster Energy Special Attack, right? Let's send Lucario in. I have to imagine he's going to Mystical Fire here, right? Either way, though, I am in a lot of trouble. Let's Bullet Punch. Oh, Swords Dance would have been such a good turn one. Swords Dance would have been an amazing turn one. I was just so worried about a Mimikyu lead or Mimikyu switch in. Hey, he's protecting. Oh my goodness, I could have... Imagine if I had stayed, I could have done another protect or another uh, Swords Dance. All right, let's just go for it again. Bullet punch. Maybe he was trying to scout out my Terra. He could he could Terra himself. Go Terra Fire here. If he does go Terra Fire, I am actually in a world of hurt. I don't know how I KO that then. I have no Gyarados with Waterfall, so... Hmm. He's withdrawing again. Withdrawing into Palafin, I guess? Brute Bonnet. Interesting. I mean... Hmm. Really, I just post-combat here, right? Well, here's the thing. If he uses Sucker Punch, that's actually great for me because that would proc my uh, Justified, wouldn't it? Never mind, we go first. And we get a KO. All right, nice. The issue now is that he might be doing this to just lower my defenses with uh, close combat. He can bring back Palafin now, in which case, oh boy. This is, yeah, uh, not a main. I mean, I can still Bullet Punch here, so we're still fine, I think. But we probably do get return KO'd though. Oh, never mind, Lucario is... Okay, it's a crit. I was gonna say, that is way too much damage for Lucario, right? But here's the thing. Palafon could pull up a uh, quite the return comeback here. Lucario, Scizor, Hydreigon. He has close combat into everything here. My best bet is Hydreigon, uh, Draco Meteor, actually. Let's go Bullet Punch, get some guaranteed chip damage off. He might just Aqua Jet, though. He's also gonna Terra Water, I assume? Water, yep. It's probably, what is it, the, the thing, the item that increases water damage as well, right? Bullet punch. So he's not aqua jetting, is he wave crashing? Wave crashing. This, I don't think that's necessary. Wave crash. Tell me your life orb as well. Although then again, close combat would lower your defenses, so it's not really that great of a move. But I mean, aqua jet could have done the job here as well. All right, let's 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 pray that Hydreigon lands Draco Meteor and then we win. And yeah, that is true, like... Fluttermane is just really frail after all, so we have to we have to remember Fluttermane has like no defenses, so who knows? With no sash as well, that bullet punch could have KO'd anyway. Alright, let's see. No miss, no miss, no miss, no miss. Oh, it's jet punch, okay. Uh we should survive, right? Yeah, we absolutely survived that. Dragon typing. Of course we survived. And that is a KO'd Palafin. Like, even though Sizzle didn't do anything there, imagine a world where I Swords Dance, turn one, Bullet Punch, turn two. That would have been amazing. Let's see. Ooh, Talonflame, Serilege, Clod Sire, Dragapult, Great Quavel, and Garganical. Gyarados might be a nice lead here. Yeah, I think Lucario could be good. And again, so could Scizor. I, I really want to use Scizor. Yeah, let's just go Hydreigon. Hydreigon because I need to go back to my, my simple mentality of just click Draco Meteor and hope it KOs. Here's the thing, if he leads Talonflame, is this going to be the, you know, the doubles scenario where you go Talonflame, turn one, Tailwind? Or is this just going to be... It's not, it's Quake Quavel. Uh, let's see, Quake Quavel has what? Brave Bird, Aqua Step, I don't know what else. I think I can go for a Dragon Dance here, can't I? Close Combat, Brave Bird, Aqua Step, Wave... I don't have anything else that can hit it for super effective, so, like, I may as well just go Dragon Dance Earthquake. Watch him have something that can, like, just insta-KO me here. Hostile already, so that's good. Mega Kick! What?! Uh, let's see, that did... not a lot. I could be greedy and go for a second Dragon Dance, but I don't think I need to. I'll just go for an Earthquake. Plus one attack, Life Orb, does not KO. Mega Kick again. Uh, Earthquake goes off here next turn. We can probably get off a nice big chunk of damage again on whatever comes in before Gyarados goes down. Hopefully it's not Serilege because Serilege might KO me with Shadow Sneak or something. Hopefully, like basically, hopefully it doesn't have priority. That's what I'm saying. It is instead Dragapult. Uh, I KO this, right? Ice Fang. Plus one speed, plus one attack. Unless you have, what would you have? Choice Scoff? But even then, I think I, well, Choice Scoff, Dragapult would KO me. But never mind. I go first. See, like, how do you recover from this out? And Gyarados lives! Alright, what, uh, what is your final Pokemon? Serilege. Ah. Shadow Sneak incoming. What on the off chance? That he doesn't. Oh, he just can. So I guess maybe the, it didn't have Shadow Sneak? Serilege can learn Shadow Sneak, yes. Iron Valiant, Serilege, Annihilate, Iron Hands, Salamence, and Gold Dengo. I feel like we can lead with a Gyarados here, because they. Uh, I am so scared about triggering Defiant. 
on Annihilate. Honestly, I am so scared I'm not even going to lead Gyarados. Instead, I will lead with Lucario, Gyarados, maybe Dragapult as well. Having a ghost type could be very nice here. I, I assume, I would like to think that Iron Hands doesn't carry Fake Out in singles. I feel like, I feel like Fake Out is a, a doubles move, right? Prevent one Pokemon from doing something while the other Pokemon does something else. Because otherwise, what, like, what is the point of Fake Out if you're by yourself? Chip damage, I guess. Now we can find out, I suppose. Uh, booster energy... Attack. Okay, this is definitely switching to Dragapult no matter what. Even if it's not Fake Out, I just... It's for the immunity, for Drain Punch, and for resistances against Volt Switch, Wild Charge, and whatnot. First combat, yep, there we go. Okay, so that also confirms that singles, they don't carry Fake Outs, because otherwise you would have used that turn one, right? So I think we can go for... Ooh, can we go for a Draco here? I'm worried about it an Iron Valiant switch, but I, I'm i overthinking this. Just click Draco Meteor, get a KO. A Terra. Ooh. Don't be Terra Fairy. Please don't be Terra Fairy. Why would you be Terra Fairy anyway? Terra Flying. That's an interesting one. Draco Meteor lands and... Doesn't KO. Oh my goodness. Terra Blast. Interesting. Does that KO me? Does not. That means we can get a Draco Meteor off, this should KO. Maybe he switches out, in which case I get chip damage at least. Yep. Switches out, we get chip damage at least. Maybe we get a crit and we do a huge- Oh, never mind. There's the Iron Valiant that I was worried about. There's the Iron Valiant. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Switch into... Probably gonna use Moonblast, right? So I feel like I can switch into Lucario. Moonblast, what else would he have? Uh... Actually, wait, no. Moonblast would do damage to Lucario. So I think Gyarados is the safer switch in. Intimidate as well, lowers the attack. Gyarados is the safer switch in. Flying type. Oh no, yeah. He's obviously not going to use a fighting type. This is the fairy type move, guaranteed. Spirit break. Uh, 70 damage, okay. Special attack falls, but that's fine by us. I think we can get a Dragon Dance off here. But instead, I'll go for a Waterfall. Leaf Blade. Interesting. Oh, let them do too much damage. Honestly, Dragon Dance would have been great here, because then this turn I would have outsped and gotten the KO. Uh, but if he's using Leaf Blade, I think I can switch into Lucario and then Bullet Punch next turn. Uh, Spirit Break. Oh! Okay, we still survive. His final Pokemon... What could they be? I don't think we need a Terror here, I think. Oh, well, yeah, even then it's fighting anyway, so Bullet Punch. Should pick up Iron Valiant KO. We can probably use that to KO the Iron Hands as well. Final Pokemon, we have Dragapult to just Draco that or Shadow Ball it. Let's see. What does he bring out? The elements. We have Draco. Let me switch into Gyarados as well just to intimidate. Hopefully he's not setting up with the uh, Dragon Balls. It has- Ooh, it does have Moxie, I think, because it's not using Intimidate, so hang on. Okay, it's Earthquake. Never mind. We That's huge for us. That means we can just Ice Fang that. Guess what? Dragon Claw. Okay. That's fine, because he's going to get a Moxie proc. Yep. We do have Dragapult. So long as we don't miss our Draco. As long as we don't miss our Draco. We've been very lucky in that we have not missed a single Draco today, which means that we are definitely gonna miss this next one, aren't we? Never mind, we landed. And we get the KO. I'm pretty sure we also outspeed the Iron Hand, so we can just Draco that as well and KO it. If we don't, we have Bullet Punch from Lucario to KO anyway. Iron Hands comes out with minus two, we can still KO with Draco. And it lands. There we go. That's what you like to see. Like I said, just click Draco Meteor. It is that easy. 